to do something a little bit different today. We are going to do a watercolor painting, and I'm going to try to recreate or semi recreate this image here. And if you like to follow along, and excuse my dogs because they are barking like crazy today. And, um, but we are going to use the Una Yoko watercolors, the ones that I've been using the last few times. The U L O O C I H I that I got, I bought from Amazon. I, I'm really enjoying these. More than I should, as you can tell by my palette. My palette's nasty, but I didn't clean it. So, that being said, we're going to get bits. And I'm going to use the water brush that came with it. It is a, it holds water. It's good for stamping and other stuff too. And um, I've got a towel that. You can't see. Well, yeah, I guess you can. Actually, it's an old pillowcase that is no good no more. When we washed it, it shrunk. But anyways, with that being said, I'm going to go about three-fourths, about halfway down my page. And this is, I don't know, this is Arches watercolor paper. I do know that much. But I'm just going to go about halfway down my page. And I made my block, I just cut a 9 by 12 in half. And this is a cold press, grand fine, 300 GMs, 100% cotton. I really do like these. And um, how I made my blocks, um, I saw it on YouTube, um, Lindsay from the future of Frugal Craft room. used hot glue and glued around her pads. I did this one. I did two or three of them. And I really enjoyed doing I, I like working off the blocks because you don't have to worry about taping it and all this other stuff. And if you're on the go or want to go to the living room to do it, it's a lot easier. But with that being said, I'm just going, and I, I, I just use medicine bottles for my water, for water coloring. And I'm going down here about halfway. And I'm just going to get this as wet. And I'm going to even use some water out of my brush. Get that as just as wet as I can. And if y'all want to see more of these videos, let me know. I posted this on uh, Facebook last night. Or the other night. And... Uh, I got some messages wanting to know how to do it, so here we go. Okay, I am using this te um, Tepo's Rose that is in my cassette. It's a pinkish. And I'm just going to find. And in the background, you will hear uh, Christmas music um, from Pandora. How Great the Arm by Carrie Underwood and I think Vince Gill. But right up here, I'm just, just letting the paint and the water do my, do it for me. And I'm just tapping it in. And these water brushes constantly gives you water. That's why I like them, because you don't run out. And I'm just going to go through and just do the all of it. And I'm going to put some water in here on my palette. Okay, and I'm, I'm still working on this, as y'all can see. And I'm just making all this pink, and then I'm going to go in. And if you get it too, don't, don't worry, you can light it up. That's one 
things about water corner. I have figured out. And by no means, don't think I'm an honest, because I'm not. I'm just an honest wannabe. I am trying to learn water corner. A couple years ago, I did learn oils and acrylics. But I haven't played with it in so long. Okay. Now, while this is still wet, I'm going in with some um, yellow. And I'm going to use the um, standing line yellow. It's a, like a medium cad and yellow. Although this. And I'm just going to spread it. Just kind of like I did the pink. Just wherever I want it. And I might get some pink in my yellow, but that's fine because you can just use a clean brush and take it out. Just like so. Now I'm going in with my uh, Ultramarina Blue. And I'm just going to do like I did the rest of it and just kind of pat it wherever. And this may not, I know this ain't going to come out the same. But I thought, well, I'll get it as close as I can. Okay. If y'all wonder why y'all getting so many pauses, it's because I'm trying to write down the songs. Okay, let's clean my brush off really, really good. Now I'm going to work on the bottom half, and I use this hot apricot to do my sand. And I'm just going to do it just with a lot of water, but just kind of how I want it. This is your pain. I mean, if you cough following along, use your imagination. Because this is all this is. Because I have no reference photos or nothing. I'm just kind of swinging it today. I mean, I got one reference photo and that's that one. But Pandora is going on in the background. Okay, I'm going to use this um, Blue Deep Font, uh, Cielo Blue, the rest of it. And I'm just going to get my water, real, uh, my brush really wet with it and dip it in the water. Because I want this really light. And that's our outside dog. The door is open. It's pretty nice here today in Arkansas for December. 
I ain't complaining. I get to be out here in the craft room today. <sighs> and there's a loud mouth. Tootsie, shut up. And if y'all don't know, we've got two Maltese that's in the house. And they are rotten. They stay out here in the craft room with me a lot. Matter of fact, they get mad when they don't get to come. And, uh, but they loud too. Mostly Tootsie. She hears the bigger ones walking. She thinks she needs to help. And I don't know if I have introduced y'all to Tootsie and Jessie. But we do have two of them. Hey, I'm using the violet for the next step for the far away mountain. Like right on the horizon. And like I said, this is not going to be the same because and just use your imagination and do it like you want it. Don't do it the way I'm doing it. I mean, you can use the same techniques, but, you know, make it your own. And use what you've got, as Lindsay would say. It, but these paint sets is less than 20 bucks with a brush. Now I'm going into it with some zap. They don't call it zap green. They call it jeep or or green, but it's um, zap, uh, zap green. And just kind of making some of my trees. Just do it a far away so you don't have to worry about it. Now I'm going to do really and just go and just put as much grass as y'all want on it. But I even did that one different than that one. So. And in less than 15 minutes, you've got a painting pretty well done. I mean, you can go in and touch it up. I want more blue in this one. And to dry it, you can use a hair dryer or a heat gun. I'm going to use my hair dryer because that's the handiest thing to me.
Now I'm going back in with my apricot and I'm going to make some more just after I dried it I don't like it and that's the th deal I mean sometimes you have to dry water cone to get it to look right and I'm just going in on dry on dry or wet on dry And like I said, I am no professional, so do not take my word on none of this stuff. I mean, well, take it some, but I am warning. I've been watching YouTube videos for a few weeks now. Trying to learn this medium, the watercolor medium. I have dabbled in it a few years ago but it's been a while oh, I just went in with some ultramarina Okay, I'm done. And now that we have a painting in less than 20 minutes. And like I said, this did not come out exactly like I wanted it. Here's the original one that I done last night. And this is the one I done today. So, you can't, I cannot recreate the same image two or three times. I mean, that's just me. Um, I don't even try. I'm going to sign it with just a regular ink pen. How I sign all of mine. I sign it just Angie. And the date. And there we have it. Thank you for joining Angie's Craft Corner. I'm Angie. I hope to see you. Have a Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year. I will be back in a few days. I love y'all and wish y'all the best for the holidays and have a blessed, blessed day. Thanks. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to us. Give us a thumbs up. And we'll catch you later. Have a blessed, blessed day.